Journey to the Carboniferous, a world of giants and coal. Imagine stepping back in time to a world teeming with colossal insects, where towering trees formed endless swamp forests. Prepare to be amazed as we explore the Carboniferous period, a pivotal era that shaped our planet and continues to influence our lives today. The Carboniferous period, spanning from approximately 359 to 299 million years ago, is a fascinating chapter in Earth's history within the Paleozoic era. Its name, meaning coal-bearing, hints at its most significant legacy, the formation of vast coal deposits. These coal deposits are the compressed remains of ancient swamp forests that flourished during this time. These forests dominated regions that are now North America, Europe and Asia, leaving behind a valuable energy source that powers our modern world. Picture a landscape dominated by towering trees and dense vegetation. The Carboniferous period was characterized by extensive lowland swamps filled with primitive plants, creating a unique and thriving ecosystem. Lycopods, such as the towering Lepidodendron, reached heights of over 30 meters, forming a significant part of the forest canopy. Ferns, seed ferns, and horsetails, like the giant calamites, carpeted the forest floor, contributing to the rich plant life. These dense, waterlogged forests thrived in the warm tropical climates near the equator. As plants died, they accumulated in the swampy soil, undergoing a transformation over millions of years into the coal we mine today. The Carboniferous period wasn't just about plants. It was also a time of incredible animal life, particularly among insects and arthropods. The atmosphere was rich in oxygen, reaching levels of up to 35%, compared to today's 21%, allowing these creatures to grow to enormous sizes. Imagine dragonflies with wingspans of up to 70 centimeters, 2.3 feet, like the Meganeura, soaring through the air. Picture millipede relatives, such as the Arthropleura, stretching over two meters, 6.5 feet in length, crawling across the forest floor. These gigantic invertebrates ruled the land, showcasing the remarkable impact of high oxygen levels on animal size and evolution. They represent the largest land invertebrates to ever walk the Earth. The oceans and freshwater ecosystems of the Carboniferous period were teeming with life. Fish dominated the waters, with various groups flourishing in the warm, shallow seas that covered large areas of land. Lobe-finned fish, like Rhabdoderma, thrived in these aquatic environments, showcasing their unique fin structure. Cartilaginous fish, including early sharks and rays, patrolled the waters, establishing their presence in the marine ecosystem. Ray-finned fish, which would eventually become the dominant fish group in later periods, also began to diversify during this time. These shallow seas provided stable environments for a diverse range of marine life. The Carboniferous period marked a crucial chapter in vertebrate evolution, witnessing the diversification of amphibians and the emergence of early reptiles. As plants spread across the land, animals followed, adapting to new environments. Amphibians diversified and grew larger, inhabiting both aquatic and terrestrial environments. Some amphibians developed adaptations for drier conditions, paving the way for the evolution of the first reptiles. The appearance of the amniotic egg was a revolutionary step, allowing reptiles like Hylonomus, one of the earliest known, to lay eggs on land, freeing them from water-based reproduction. This innovation was a pivotal moment in vertebrate evolution. During the Carboniferous period, the continents were in motion, drifting closer together. Laurasia and Gondwana were moving towards each other, eventually forming the supercontinent Pangaea in the subsequent Permian period. The climate was generally warm and humid, especially near the equator, creating ideal conditions for the growth of swamp forests. However, towards the end of the period, climate changes began to occur, leading to drier conditions in some areas and the expansion of glaciers over Gondwana. These tectonic and climatic shifts played a significant role in shaping the environment and influencing the evolution of life during the Carboniferous period. The end of the Carboniferous period wasn't marked by a sudden catastrophic event, but rather a gradual transition. Swamps dried up in many regions and the climate became cooler and more seasonal. 
many of the giant plants and animals that had thrived during the Carboniferous declined or vanished, making way for new species to emerge. This transition set the stage for the Permian period, which would witness the rise of mammal-like reptiles and the largest mass extinction in Earth's history. This period of change highlights the dynamic nature of Earth's ecosystems and the constant process of adaptation and evolution. The Carboniferous period has had a profound impact on our modern world. The coal we use for power is a direct result of the vast swamp forests that flourished during this time. The rise of reptiles during the Carboniferous paved the way for the evolution of dinosaurs, birds and mammals, including ourselves. It demonstrates how ecosystems can grow, thrive and transform the planet's atmosphere. In essence, we owe a part of our existence to the evolutionary leaps made in this ancient, oxygen-rich world. The Carboniferous period serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of life and the long history of our planet. From the towering trees and giant insects to our electricity and family trees, the Carboniferous lives on all around us. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new upload.